This is probably the most critical new information that has come to light in this case since the gag order was initially entered. The fact that there's other DNA, male DNA uh, found at the scene that can't be accounted for, uh, and the fact that there's no other link, none, besides what we've already seen in the probable cause affidavit uh, that links Mr. Koberger with these victims, none of his DNA on them, none of their DNA anywhere we would expect it to be with this type of a crime. This is huge information, and it really indicates that the state's case is, is kind of falling apart here. Not only do we just have the basic evidence that was in the probable cause affidavit all the way back at day one, but we're also seeing that PC affidavit itself is kind of starting to crumble. We've got concerns now about uh, additional, you know, investigative steps that may or may not have been taken, problems with how the car was identified, 